Hey, what's going on, guys? Back with another video. Today, I am flying to Reno, and this tournament is unlike the others. Now, you guys know I do NASCA, you guys know I do ATA, but I also do a league called NBL, and I also have done Wacko, but this tournament is for a league that is called The League. It's original, right? Anyway, um... So right now we're in the gate, we're walking over to the plane, and I'm not the only one flying here Excuse by myself, guys. you know what I mean? The rest Ray, of the- Are you by yourself? No, I'm vlogging right now. Oh, are you vlogging right now? How you doing? Good. Where are you going today? Reno? Yep. Awesome. You pilot? Yep. Awesome. <laughs> please, please fly our plane. It's actually a world tournament for this league, so I might be able to get another world title. I sure hope so. And this time I'm not competing with a bow staff, I'm competing with commas this time. So, yeah, and then I got I got some of my teammates with me, also my best friends. To be honest, I find it rather ironic that we're on like a 45 minute flight and we have TVs. Guys, if you hit something on the game, it bursts. Okay, watch. Why? All right, guys, it is competition day. I just showered and I'm ready. I just want to talk to you guys about how different this is from other tournaments. You guys know I'm a bow staff person. I've competed with bow staff basically my whole life. I've competed with commas before in competition. And that was a long time ago before I even got into bow staff. I was just doing a freestyle. This time I have an actual form prepared. I have tricks I wanna do, got it put to music. I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous because kind of in my, I mean, I've been dropping every once in a while when I've been practicing. So I've been kind of nervous, but um, I'm definitely willing to go for it because the thing about commas is that I think they look really cool and then they're really fun to play with. And I think if you can look cool and have fun, then you can have a great competition. What a better way to start that with an amazing room service breakfast. Check this out, guys. We got yogurt, ham, eggs, hash browns, all that stuff. So right behind me, I have an amazing view of Reno. That is currently where I am at. And right over there, you can see the pepper mill. That is the hotel I went to last time I came here for the tournament. We're at a different hotel this time. Another reason I'm really nervous is because this is the second time I've done this type of league. The last time I did this league, it was like two years ago. So I am at the bottom of the seats. What I mean by that is like, if you compete more often in this league, you get more points and then you might have a better chance of getting a world title. This is the one time I'm competing in this league, so I'm gonna be seated really low, and that definitely goes against my chances of getting a world title. Last year, I had the exact same uh, situation. I still got me a world title. I'm gonna try and do that this year, guys. Filling my mind with these images, yeah. and it's the way that you look at me makes me feel. So apparently, guys, you're not allowed to talk in your form. Now, typically you don't talk during your form. The only time I would talk while doing my form is when I introduce myself to the judges. And apparently, I guess since you can't talk, you can't do that. So I guess I'm just going to walk up to the judges, bow to them, and then kind of just skip the intro, and then continue on with the form. I hope it goes well. Guys, check this out. We got a fan right here. What's your name, buddy? Yeah. Noah. Noah, okay. Awesome. Thanks, Ben. I just won first place. That's my seventh world title in so happy. Now it's time for weapons. Watch me embarrass myself.
the junior created musical 10 to 13 year old black belt grand champion winner is Guys, if you go, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, whether it's competition, school, whatever, you go looking for the badge, you're always going to find it. Always. You guys make sure, when you come to these tournaments, find the good. If you, if you look for it, you will find that too. So awesome job. I am so proud of you guys. Very good job. Very good job. Alright, so right now, we're about to eat dinner. It's the end of the day. I'm tired. I'm starving. <laughs> Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Got me some matzo ball soup. Easton could swear it's one big matzo balls. All right, guys. So I just got interviewed by a pretty known person around these tournaments. I love this guy. <laughs> Thank you. So what's your name? Hi, guys, everybody. I'm Tony Catton. I'm from the uh, league uh, finals, and I'm the vice president of the league, along with Sean Dumla, who's inside right now. And uh, it was a pleasure to to, to see and watch this young man compete with, I mean, he's just, a, he inspires me to be a vlogger here now, so thank you, Ethan. Oh yeah, anytime, I'm really happy to have you here. so much for watching and if you're a fine tribe subscriber you have subscribed to this channel so those of you who have done so thank you very much and if you're new to the channel of course always hit that subscribe button notification squad you're out there hit that notification bell so you can see my video as soon as it comes out it's just awesome i know how it feels to, to subscribe to a channel i love and i get a notification that they post a new video and i'm like <gasps> you know Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am an eight-time world champion now. And also, um, kudos to everyone else who did a, an amazing job at the tournament. Especially Cole Harvard, who got his, he got his like, first world title in, like, what, three years? So kudos to him. Good job, Cole. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Peace.